This is a disease of uh, pigs. It's been causing uh, outbreaks in Kenya and East African region and the rest of Africa for quite a long time. This disease has no cure and uh, there's no vaccine currently for it. African swine fever actually the impact is devastating because uh, you find uh, most of the small uh, smallholder farmers who are not that level of commercial. They put in their resources and they build the peak population from the normal two to around uh, maybe 20 or 30. And before they start getting the returns, the disease comes and wipes them out. African soil fever research uh, at Ilul Baker started about eight years ago. The project has grown to cover all aspects of the epidemiology of the disease. Most recently, uh, two, two years ago, we got support from outside uh, to fund research on this disease. And our focus study area is in Western Kenya and Eastern Uganda, uh, the border region. And this is trying to help us uh, understand the transboundary nature of this disease, as well as understand uh, several risk factors that could be responsible for the spread of this disease. Where we are standing now is at the Kenya-Uganda border, and the River Sio is actually the borderline between Kenya on my right and uh, Uganda on my left. And as you can see, this is quite a swampy area, and uh, we suspect there could be a lot of swamp uh, pigs here, what we'd call the bush pigs, and the uh, bush pigs are reservoirs for African swine fever. What is important also where we are standing is that uh, it, it shows that there's a, a clear movement between uh, uh, between the two countries, and this is quite a, a big risk for transboundary transmission. Uh, of disease and vice versa. So in designing our study in this area, we, we want to see the dynamics of, of disease based on the information that we get from the Ugandan side and also from the information that we get from the Kenyan side. And with this uh, data and information, we could uh, uh, develop strategies for control of this disease across the border. The data that we generate through the epidemiology, uh, our goal is to use this information to design control strategies for African swine fever. Uh, but the overall goal is to basically see how we can control this disease you know, within the region and also uh, uh, within the continent of Africa, and also to help uh, prevent any possibility of global spread of this disease to other major peak keeping areas of the world. This we hope to do through designing biosecurity measures that uh, can prevent uh, on farm transmission of the disease and also biosecurity measures along the peak value chains uh, that is also responsible for transboundary spread of the disease. This project has really helped me on my ideas on especially how to rare things and uh, how to control the SF disease with the years and uh, how to work. Since the project started, the community is happy with the project and they are wishing the project to continue because before that they didn't know how it was being spread. They believed that it was being spread through breathing or the, when somebody is cooking, they felt that it was through cooking they the, the disease was being spread and at, at least for now they have known that it's not spread through cooking, neither pouring water somewhere, but it is them themselves who spread the disease. So at least they, have the, they know the way to keep the, the pigs. We're also generating data that are very useful in uh, developing a vaccine against this disease. 
uh, for, for example, over the period of this project, we, we, are, we now have a better understanding of the type of viruses that are circulating. And uh, there are only two virus genotypes in this region that makes it very easy to develop a, a one vaccine that can take care of that. From our studies, in our current studies, we realize that there are a group of pigs that are a bit tolerant to this disease. So the question we are asking is, uh, can this tolerance be used in breeding programs to protect the pigs uh, against this disease? So in the longer term, we hope through this uh, better knowledge that we develop uh, more resistant pigs to this disease.